The original Alu 4 was a story of four University of Port Harcourt boys who were lynched to their death by members of the Alu community where the school is located on October 5, 2012. But the unpopular story is that there were originally five boys. Apparently, only four of them were killed. So, what happened to the fifth person? Was there even a fifth person? The main story is that Ogona had a debtor called Bright. Bright, who had been avoiding Ogona as all debtors do, was living in the heart of the Alu community itself. When Ogona found out where he lived, he asked his cousin Lloyd, his childhood friend Tekena, and his roommate Shiadika to follow him to Bright's place. Now, there are claims that these boys went with an axe, a machete, and a knife. But there is also an argument that suggested that it was a lie made up by the mob of boys who had caught them. And honestly, I would agree with this argument. The boys clearly would not have carried all that weapon for one person. They, in group, was enough to scare him. And besides, these weapons, axe, cutlasses, and daggers were weapons of the vigilantes. When asked about these weapons, as they claimed they had, the mob could not provide these weapons. It was nowhere in sight of these boys. So the idea that they went with these weapons is probably almost nearly a lie. When the boys were in Bright's house, an argument ensued and a neighbor quickly yelled thief, calling the attention of the mob. The boys tried to explain the situation, but they weren't given the chance. Things pretty much went south from there. Now, the story of the fifth person is suggestive to the idea that the fifth person may have been blamed for their lynching. Although this is an unpopular story, it was very popular at the initial time of the incident amongst Uniport students and people around. It was said in words of mouth but mostly excluded in blogs and the news because, you know, he wasn't part of the picture. The story of the fifth person was that when the four of them were on their way to Bright, they met another friend who was a known cultist. He was probably familiar with one of them. He was big and built like a bouncer. At that point, Ugona needed as much people as he could because this bright guy himself was most likely dangerous too. So he begged this big guy to join them, believing he was scary enough to make Bright pay up. Unknown to the four, the fifth guy had a gun, and when the neighbor caught the attention of the mob and they came to apprehend these boys, as the boys were trying to explain to the mob that they were not thieves, that they only came to collect the money owed to them, the fifth guy, seeing the mob of people and seeing that things were about to go south because the crowd was getting bigger, brought out his gun and threatened to shoot and then he ran away, leaving the boys stranded, shocked, surprised and clearly defenseless at this point because now they are definitely going to be seen as criminals. This is the story of the fifth boy of the Alu 4. Like I said, it's not a very popular news, it wasn't on the blogs. Again, this was something that didn't get to make a lot of the news outlet and was very much omitted from all the media news carrying the Alo 4 incident. But it was said by people of the school and people around during the time of the incident. And that was why I felt the need to make a story about it. If you heard about the story of the fifth person, please make a comment below. And if you didn't, share to some of your friends who you think might know about it.